Welcome back to the channel. We're back in some Cyberpunk 2077. This is the Life During Wartime. Uh, mission may change here in just a moment. I don't know. Uh, we'll talk to Pan Am. So, um, let's see. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. Oh, <laughs> so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. First things first. I do want to see about leveling up just a bit. Let's look at our perks. So, I mean, this isn't terrible. Actually... Oh, I can do this. I don't think I want this, but let's just take that right now, and then we'll, we'll get it next time. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. a real adventure. Yeah. But he's gone. Shit, V. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look. You're alive. So got a few things to take care of, too. The 
this they they call their friends. They're in for one hell of a surprise. Careful, B. Too. It will kind of start. It will start targeting if you don't. At least it always seems to. Must have taken Hellman with him. That's all. Uh, Better hurry then. So annoying, so annoying. I do have to. I really have to do something with my. Uh, what I'm carrying. Cycles, because you know, I thought it might be somewhere here, but apparently we're moving further on. What is this music that's playing on this thing? That's one of our, one of their rides. Let's check it. Don't know if we'll find anything else here. Enough. There's nobody here. Better check where Kang Tao took him. Fast. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. Drones, patrols, definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. But V, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough.
Alright, time to go on. Definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. But V, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call. We'll know soon. Where did I get hit from? Damn it! See cars! 
Nomad. Mm -hmm. I recognize them. The clans. See what do we want to do? This how do we want to do this? Let's have five of here. That I think everyone will agree. There's we'll something up right here somewhere that I want to. Mayoral debate. Mayoral debate. One C, one C, one C. So one C, one C, one C, one C. Alright. Close enough. See here. Okay, I don't think there's anything back here, I don't think. You think I have any looted? Hey, you there! Yes, I'm talking to you! Are you getting what you want out of life? Let me guess. 
food from a tube. Rescue water. Another murder outside the bedroom window. But what if you could leave all... Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. The hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. One week getaway for two at the Crystal Palace. Ten casinos, five poles. Brought a man with him. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you? I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. <laughs> Feel alive in the dead of space. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. I mean, first we're gonna do this, but let's see. Eden. 55. 55. Okay, got two of them. We'll take it. Okay, covering you. Don't make trouble. Be trouble. But there's smoke. I mean, I was just out here. Oh, I didn't climb the stairs, did I? Uh, if I climbed the stairs, I wouldn't need to talk to him, would I? Talk. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Helmet, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive. Alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. We collected our people's bodies from the crash site. They need to go back to camp. We are ghosts too, know what I mean? So the guy, the local Mitch sales. and Pan Am came out Turn to rescue him? Ass. That is the word. No. The Perhaps AV, we should the step on down and Scorpion. Look who be it's all related. Tight. I had no idea we'd landed a contract. So Stay Saul's right out there. to hit the corporations, too? To me, the all these things arrived straight out of step. Mitch gathered together a few old accounts. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? 
Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpio, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing, my fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you were in Aldo Caldo, you were always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances changed nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think about everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. He was coming to Hey Where am I? What is this place? Motel? Middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention? Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. <laughs> Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Your tech's trying to kill me. Pretty sure that's not how it's advertised. If you wish to file a complaint, I'll need more details. Got Johnny Silverhand's construct stuck in my head. And I don't want it Silverhand? There. Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Long story. If Arisaka finds me, I'm dead. So are you. So we are in no hurry. And I'm interested, truly. Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client, but the client left me out and to drop. And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. 
I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was downing a Kang Tao AV? <laughs> How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engram. It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for you, Arinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. <laughs> How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Are you planning to have the Engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... ...neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo -hoo, do it's bargaining time. is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. But you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts. Slowly but surely. What do you mean? 
You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. You know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try. Just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half brain gonk. Forget Kang Tao. Admit... Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. Me? Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. <laughs> He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your bed. Best interest. V, I will remember this. Well, ah, this heat. Check mark, My throat is positively parched. Now we gotta. Mm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Hang accept. Uh, what the hell? you, man. That is not Fuck! You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No. Sit down, goddammit! Finger I hear in your voice? Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat running while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka, blah, blah. Smash Makoshi. You really are turning into me. <laughs> Can't say I'm excited, because you're a manipulator. An egotist. And a cynic. Every time you open your mouth, you gotta bury someone. You know, we get along as the need arises. Maybe it's time you started trusting me more. You can be a charming guy. Just make the effort. Charisma flows. Then I remember that nuke that you detonated downtown without a second thought, and no hint of later remorse. It was Mikoshi I was after. Wanted to destroy it. 
Gave Sokka ample time to clear the building. You knew countless people would die. Don't kid yourself. Take lives aplenty yourself. See scale as a problem? <clears throat> Whatever. Won't argue. All I'm saying is you're unpredictable. You pod me, Kettle. Remember where you used to be, then think what you've done lately. Path clear. See where you're going? <laughs> Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like? When you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt... I don't know... Like sleep? Lacked awareness. Had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember... Cold, black void, fear. Or... Or was that your death? Makoshi, why did Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Ah. Uh. People can be bought, brainwashed, but it's only in Makoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart, reprogram it. They've amassed quite a collection. Scary talented runners, soul killed, packed away, probably using them now, probably controlling them. So, rule in hearts and minds, that's what it's about. Uh, the usual. Corps have always tried to shackle people one way or another. Saburo's ambition is greater. He's out to control humanity. Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain Corps wreak around the world, what happens at Makoshi is worst. Know why? They're fucking around with the human mind. Consciousness. Not any different than being a farm corpse lab rat. Nah, it's something else. Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what Arasaka's doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. All right. You're gonna grab that? We're gonna go ahead and sell real quick here. Uh, let's see. I need to get rid of some of this stuff here.
Probably should sell the junk here too. Apparently it has no weight so it doesn't matter. Alright. So let's uh let's go. Anyway, we couldn't just stay in the car. Anyway, that completes that mission, so we're going to end the video here and we'll be back next time. Appreciate you joining us and see you next time.